gets rot in our universities and uh, let's take a look at the story that continues on at page four and of course this is a promise by education cs fred matiangi that he would continue with education reforms in the country not just for primary and secondary level but in the university level as well and as it stands and now some colleges face a closure if the cs declares a painful cleanup of rot in both public as well as private universities and this means that uh, degrees that have been awarded to undeserving students even in the past now risk being cancelled by the Ministry of Education and it's also important to note that uh, also targeted are students in university who do not meet entry points to join university. I uh, remember the entry point uh, for university is a C plus and above and also on the CS's radar are universities which have unapproved programs and so a very thorough audit will be carried out uh, the Commission for University Education is the only body that has been mandated with carrying out audits in the country. And uh, Matiangi also cites a case where 200 students graduated with degrees despite the fact that some of their marks over the years had been missing. So let's take a look at that story on page four of the standard. And uh, of course, as I mentioned, that audit will now be carried out by the Commission for university education. But Matiangi says that there are diluted standards in university education in the country for the very fact that we have candidates that have not attained uh, entry points into the university that are still in university. And so this is something that the country will be watching out for uh, to see which universities are going to be closed down, how many degrees are going to be cancelled, and just what that means uh, for the education sector in the country. And uh, when you take a look 